Hi class, um, this is your teacher Corrine again. I just wanted to give you a quick first week guided tour. So what you see on my computer is what I'm about to talk about. So every week you guys are gonna have a module. Um, it's possible one week you have a, a module just for the diet analysis project. Some semesters I'm able to do that, some semesters I'm not but generally you'll have one chapter per module and generally one module per week, unless this is during a summer course. So for regular semesters, you're gonna have one chapter per week. Um, so within these chapter modules, there's different things. There's a video lecture. The video lectures are of the PowerPoint slides and they're me talking and doing some math and further explanation explanation besides what's just written on the PowerPoint slides and they're on YouTube. So I highly recommend actually printing the PowerPoint slides or having them on your desktop while watching the videos so you can take notes on them. I know that for online classes, um, maybe you don't want to be printing them, but for me personally, printing them would be the best way to get the most complete notes. I do have the slides in PDF version or in PowerPoint version. And usually you can print, if you wanted to, up to nine little slides per page to save paper. So you don't have to use one whole slide per page. Um, but the act of actually writing things down really enhances learning. So that's what I would do. The video lectures are generally half an hour to maybe an hour long um, and obviously you can pause them you can take a break whatever you like so those are the chapters for kind of how the chapters are located so you have a video you have one you can print and then you have it in pdf sometimes there'll be extra videos these are created by my colleague christine bisson who is the department head at alan hancock and very fantastic and helpful and so I would recommend watching those videos, especially if they say math. You're gonna be doing math a lot in this class. You thought it was nutrition, but there's a lot of math. Um, and often you're gonna be doing math during the study guides and during the discussion board. So if you feel you need any help with math, I would definitely watch those videos. Another thing within the modules is extra content and video links. You don't have to look at this extra content and video links but it will really enhance your learning and it should be interesting to you. Um, there's different videos, there's different websites. This one is a article, the RDI, figuring out this alphabet soup. So it talks about RDI, um, EAR, UL, et cetera, and what all those abbreviations mean. And then at the bottom of each module, you're gonna find the assignments that are due. So most modules are gonna have a discussion board, a study guide, and a quiz. And some modules may have an additional assignment such as the health tree or the hot topics assignment. Um, the quizzes are timed, so just remember that before you do actually start them, remember that they're timed. And the quizzes and discussion boards, like I said before, must be done at that time period, otherwise they close and they go away. The study guides, please do them by the due date, but if you can't get them done, you can still turn them in late. So I'm gonna click on a study guide and hopefully you can see what I see on my screen. Um, it's gonna give you instructions for the first two study guides exactly what to do, and then I just upload the document. So what you wanna do is click on the study guide, and this is going to cause that study guide to be downloaded onto your computer. Um, it should pop up, but you may have to open it. My, most of my chapter study guides have been updated to the 15th edition of the text, but some of them are a work in progress, so just be aware of that. And then you should download the study guide onto your computer so that you can reopen it in Word and fill in the answers and then resubmit it. Um, since it is in Word, you can type right into the document. So why do people decide to eat the food that they do? That's the first question on the chapter one study guide. 
and there's a lot of different suggested reasons. And so you're supposed to give an example or a keyword or phrase to help you mem remember each. Like habit, maybe you're gonna say um, breakfast. I eat cereal every morning. Ethnic heritage, your regional cuisines, um, San Luis sourdough bread, or you know um, something that's traditional to you. Social interactions, maybe going out every Friday night. Marketing you know, whatever it is, um, but brand mascots or Tony the Tiger or um, marketing something that's organic or non-GMO. Emotions, you're celebrating, you had some ice cream or you're sad, you had some ice cream, whatever it is. So you're gonna fill out the study guides. Um, like I said, you can type right into the study guides. So I'm just typing some words. You can submit just as it is. If you want, changing your font to a different color is fantastic because it really helps me be able to see what you've actually written on your study guide. So that can be really good. Um, and I'm not going to save this particular study guide example, but you should save your own and then you should name them with your first name, your last name, which chapter and dot DOCS. Um, you can submit as a DOCS, which is a word document, or you can submit as a PDF but don't submit as pages, don't submit as Google Docs, don't submit as a zip drive or any other kind of funny documents. I'm, I'm not able to open up anything but Word or PDF from Canvas, so please submit as Word or PDF um, from Canvas. And so that's a little bit about the study guides. If you're having trouble with Canvas, remember that there is the Canvas review guide. Um, that can be found on the home page. And the home page again is right here. So there's the Canvas student help guide that can help you troubleshooting with Canvas. If you're watching this video, hopefully you have done these kind of pre first week activities or early first week activities like downloaded the syllabus, uh, introduction discussion, scavenger hunt, and practice quiz. And so that's kind of what you'll see every week. As far as taking the quizzes go, having the study guide complete and in front of you before taking the quiz is highly recommended. You'll see possibly some repeat questions and a lot of overlap. Um, just gonna look at my notes to see if I forgot anything. Let's see. The other thing, I guess one more thing I'll add. I, I have mentioned the syllabus. I did mention print it. So I would click here and print the syllabus. There, there is a calendar setting on your Canvas. So if I click on calendar on the left side, a calendar will pop up of due dates. But what I sometimes find is the due dates for the calendar are incorrect. And so I would recommend using the printed syllabus for due dates versus the actual calendar application on the side. Um, Another thing that I find is sometimes incorrect is if you are using these links on the left side, like discussions, quizzes, assignments, um, sometimes those are not as accurate as actually using the home page and going through the modules themselves. Um, they, they should be, but for whatever reason, sometimes they're not. So that would be my only other kind of tip. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this class and jump into the first chapter and um, email me if you have any questions. Um, and that's it. Thanks, bye.